Hi everyone, back at the August bank holiday weekend. Uh, I went from my hometown, which is Christchurch, uh, near Bournemouth on the south coast, all the way up to Blackpool. Now that's 290 miles each way. So beyond the battery range of most electric cars. Um, some of the longer range Teslas will do that. Um, some of the bigger battery cars will do it. Uh, but let's face it, um, 290 miles is a long way without a break. And if you're stopping, you might as well be charging. So 200 mile range on the um, Audi 200 250 um, is ample. And um, you know, pretty much every electric car can, can do that journey, even the smaller battery stuff with a 100 mile range. Uh, it just takes a little bit more stopping and planning. So this video is just showing you how I planned it and I'm just going to show you the apps that I used um, for the charging stops. I have uh, recorded footage on the journey. Um, my son is doing the edit on that one, so that's just coming together now. Um, he's probably being very cheeky and doing things in a different style, taking the mickey out of his dad on the, on the video. So when that goes live, uh, you'll see that one. Anyway, here's how I did with a planning for a long trip, Bournemouth to Blackpool, August Bank Holiday weekend, and then back again. So first app I've got is Zap Map. Now I don't really like this one for route planning, but it is brilliant if you're trying to find a charger around where you are or around where you're going. But I can pop that into motorway services as a filter. I can put high power chargers only as a filter, so 100 or 150 kilowatt plus. And there it shows the chargers um, that will be available to me on the route. Just running up from the south coast near Bournemouth, up past Birmingham, past Manchester and on the way up to Blackpool. So took a screenshot and there it is. Now this one is my preferred app, which is a better route planner, ABRP. Now on this one, um, you can know where the phone is uh, that's using the app. So it has the start position. I've popped in the uh, finished position there, which is the uh, Hampton by Hilton Hotel up in Blackpool, uh, which was a great hotel. and. Um, it's also customized to my car. So it's got the Audi e-tron. I can put in my battery state at the start of the journey. I can put how much charge I want at the end of the journey. I can even add another stop so I can include the return journey as part of this. Um, now on top of that, I've got the Audi charging account, the Pro Edition. So that information can be edited and uh, added to this. So that then knows that I would prefer to charge at stations that I have an account with. Um, and I can also swing it to prefer Ionity because that is my cheapest option as well. So it can be put together there and the important one there is minimum charger stalls of, uh, I've put in five. And that means I won't go to somewhere where there's just one or two chargers, but I'll go to one of the bigger hubs as my stop. So with all that information entered, it then uh, runs through and creates a charging plan for you and a journey plan, gives you time, gives you distance, and, um, and we'll come up with a stop. So uh, just the one stop needed, and it's worked that out to be the new BP charging hub at the Birmingham NEC. Now that is the biggest charging hub in the UK, and I believe it has 44 chargers on it, and it's just off the M40. So it was a pretty good option. In the end, I didn't use it, but it would have been an excellent uh, choice. This one is a my map on Google Maps. I'll share the link to this in the description. Um, and I've highlighted my route uh, just to show where I went. Um, but it does show um, all the charging hubs, which have got five or more high power chargers of 100 kilowatts or above. So these are brilliant options uh, for stopping out on a journey because you're less likely to get queues. Uh, they're all gonna be quite new, so you've got better reliability. And as you can see, there are a lot of them around in the UK. So the link for this is gonna be down in the description. And finally, most cars come with an app or built-in sat-nav, um, or sometimes the app that can be used via CarPlay where there isn't an integrated sat-nav. And that will do charging for you. So this is the My Audi one, and I'm just popping um, the start position and the destination in. It will then come up with a plan. Now I can edit this for my um, state of charge when I leave, rather than the current state of charge, and my arrival state of charge. And it will come up with a route and um, some charging options. I don't find the charging options on this as good as a better route planner. This will sometimes pick 50 kilowatt DC chargers or do more stops than I would prefer to make. But on the day, in the car, if I know what's going on with a better route planner, I can have this running and then um, just modify things and flex things as it suits me.